animated screens, three new studios, some new desktops are things that were added to this new UEVS version, along with, you know, some new things. So I'm Andy from Mooncake Visuals, and I'm going to quickly run you through the new stuff that were added to this version of UVS. Right now, I'm currently running the free version of it. You can check the, you know, download link in the description. You can go ahead and just download it. It has a one virtual studio that you can customize and as well as the, you know, the elements library in it. One of the changes are in the interface. So I decided to kind of change few icons for text just to make everything like more straightforward. Another thing is on the in this media section now, we have these two buttons for USB capture and open video files. You know, add a text or something more self-explanatory as well. We got USB capture to open some to open a webcam or a USB capture you have. Uh, only a few, not all are compatible. There's no one official list. But in my case, I'm running a cheap uh, USB capture I bought from AliExpress and it's working. Right now, I don't have input, but I know it's working. So this is the what we see here. We also added a mini monitor. It's something that when you click on it, will open an external window, and you will be able to monitor your your, the, for example, your program out or your inputs there. So you can drag and drop that input to all the monitor and use that just for monitoring purposes. In the style tab, uh, one thing, one cool thing added is the ability to control your your viewport, right? You know that right now you use the right click to look around. You press and hold the right click to look around, and WSD like uh, any FPS game to move it, and then Q and E to move up or down. And now it has support for Xbox controller, so you use the the right and left stick to look around, and the left one to move it. You use right trigger to go up and left trigger to go down. And if, for example, you get lost. Let's suppose, oh, I'm there, I don't know where am I, so you can press V and it will restart the camera. And with the keyboard, you just press the R key and it will restart the camera as well. Okay, so as I said, we got a few new desktops. Uh, you can see they, are, they have uh, the customization capability as well. So you can customize them or add input or textures to them. When you click on that, you're going to have the same set uh, settings. So you're going to be able to customize the colors or or whatever they're going to have in the input. Cool. So as I mentioned, uh, I added also... As I mentioned at the beginning, I added also the ability to use animated screens. So, for example, when I drag and drop a screen, the first thing you need to do is add to dynamics. There is a tutorial about dynamics on the uh, on the playlist. So I'm gonna change the name to screen just for something. I'm gonna add to dynamic and no group. So added to dynamic will add a new button here, and when I click on that, my screen will animate. So this animation is customizable. So if I go here, I got a new animate section, animation section where we can type the animation length. So let me set this to three seconds. To, sorry, to let's set this to 0 0.2 second. For example, you'll see that now the animation is faster. So in here we have these two check marks. So if I click on animal location, right, this screen when uh, want to to hide right we'll follow this rule so i want to animate the location i want the vertical offset to go to 300 and 380 right so the screen will move down 380 as you saw on the animation so and the take in this screen will come up from that minus 380 to the base position now let's suppose i want to keep that at zero and then i just want to move to the side like uh, 500 so if I take out, the screen will move to, to the size. So now I just want it to move to the front, for example. So same for front, 500. Tip now, you see it, take in. Now I can also animate the scale. So I want to, for example, scale vertically to zero, which is the default. So you will see that, oops, 
uh, since I have nothing, the screen will just disappear and appear. So I will enable the scale. So it will it will it will scale down to zero in the vertical axis. But now I want to scale down in both axes. So I'm going to set both to zero, and the screen will just now the screen is you know uh, in, in increasing and decreasing the scale from the center from the center, but we can adjust the pivot of it. So for example, I want it to go from the top. So if I take out, we're gonna go to the top or from the bottom. Let me just take it out to the bottom. There you go. Or for example, I, I don't want to touch the vertical scale, right? I just want to keep the vertical scale as is, and then I just gonna use the horizontal scale from the left. Now, if I take this out, you will see it will, it will scale down like that. This is pretty much each screen has the same settings, so you can create, you can combine different settings. So, for example, I'm gonna duplicate this screen, right? And in this one, instead of uh, scaling to the left, I'm gonna scale down this to the right. And I'm gonna add a new dynamic. Let me create a quick group called Screens, right? And then I'm gonna add this screen as well to the new group. And now I have this a new button to work that will work on both screens. So I'm gonna take both out, you will see it. And then I'm gonna take both in. I can swap their stuff. So this will go to the right and this will go to the left. And now I got this, see it? So pretty much uh, real simple, but it's, you know, just to generate quick screen uh, screens animation. And now in the director mode, we can now copy and paste paths. So for example, I got this, I'm going to capture this path and I'm going to move here. I'm going to capture this one. And uh, let me just set the animation to 10 seconds and I'll go here and then I'm going to have this path. I'm going to capture it. But here I want to have the same here so I can copy this and then paste it here. And you will see that I got this path as well. So same here, I can, for example, copy the, this path, right? And then I can paste it here. And now we have this. See it? So pretty much we can also we can also delete path. So you can click on the path and then you can delete it. There you go. There you go. And there you go. And now you see there's no there's no animation. So pretty much these are the new stuff that were added to this version of UVS. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. And also if you want to look to you know more in depth tutorials for oh, about UVS, I put down the link, the official playlist, and also the documentation. So see you in the next video guys.